Hi, it's Mr. Reiske, and we're on day four of the picture lab. And you can see what we're doing here with this butterfly. We're not mirroring. We're not just copying the left half over to the right half. We're also copying the right half to the left half. This is called a flip. Okay, so make sure you understand the difference in a mirror and a flip. I started all the classes today with that discussion before even getting to the Java. But now I'll just take these steps here one at a time and do what they say. So make our picture object. Why do you have to make two picture objects? What if you did only made one picture object? It says make a pick one and make a pick two. What if you only made one? What if I give you a guess the output question on maybe next Wednesday or so's quiz, and I do flip horizontal poorly because I only do one picture? What would happen? Well, I know if you're taking the AP exam and you're heading toward the three, four, five, you're definitely intellectually curious and want to find out. So find out. See what happens if you only give you one picture object and we loop through just one picture and copy to one picture, what would happen? And so there's two objects. Display pick one, they're both the same. They just say display one of them because they're both the same. And if I don't remember how to spell that crazy get pixels 2D method, well, it's right there. But if it wasn't right there, I could look on my quick reference, as we did for yesterday's quiz. So Peng Chi and Andre, if you take that quiz today later in the hour, you'll have that quick reference in front of you to use, okay? Just to help you spell the methods right and get the syntax perfect, hopefully. I'll just do this. Let's see. If you're at home doing this this weekend with me, compile as you go along. Compile it, and there we go. Now comes those same old, same old nested loops. I could probably steal them from up here, couldn't I? I think I will. Yeah, we'll see. So we're going to loop through pick one. So pixels one, right? If you're copying and pasting, you can't do it blindly. You got to realize it's pixels one. It's not called pixels today. Okay, so I got them set up. Traditional nested for loops. Wonder why it says traditional and not enhanced. Days one and two asked us to do enhanced. Day three asked us to do traditional because we only looped halfway through. Today it asked us to do traditional because we need to know what row and column we're in. We'll see that here shortly. Pick one, pick two, okay. That looks, we just did that, right? Good. Now store each pixels, one row call pixel in its appropriate position over in pixel two. Okay, well, just like yesterday, it'll save us some typing if we do int num calls. We did this yesterday, Andre and Peng Chi, to save us some typing, an extra variable to keep track of num calls.
And so that'd be pixels. How many columns are there? Pixels of row dot length. Okay. That'll make this next line a lot shorter. So pixels two. Dot set color pixels one dot get color. All right, if you were here yesterday, it's the same code, right? Very familiar to you. And that's that'll be that line. I know it's not done, but that's set up for us. And then display pick two. And call flip horizontal, of course, in the main. Okay, so we got to fill this in. Okay, we're copying from one picture to a totally different picture. Okay, I know it's the same at the beginning, but we're putting, we're not going to change pixels one. We're going to chain, change pixels two. So wherever we are in the matrix, that's RC. I'm going to copy the same row, but across the row at the other end of the picture to it. And this, that's this famous code from yesterday. If we're in column zero, you want to put it in the last column, which is num calls minus one. Like if we have a 640 by 480 picture, 640 by 480 picture, then the columns are numbered zero through 479. This would be 480 minus one, 479. That works perfect for column zero. But then when you get to column one, you want to put it in the second column from the right. So it needs some algebra here. That's why you have to do the minus C, the current column, well, minus, I mean, named it call today, the minus C. Okay, how's that look? Any mistakes I made? Does compile? It made something. Oh, pixels one. Now, now you can put one or two, either one there, right? Pixels one or two. Anything else? Another mistake. Oh, that's row. I used R yesterday and I used row and call today, so that's why I got these dumb errors. My loop variables are not R and C, they're row and call. Okay, now cross my fingers and no errors now. Okay, let's see what happens. And that's doing it as prescribed. Looks good. Okay, but again, what if I only had one picture? I hope you're curious enough to try that yourself. If I didn't do a pixels two, didn't do a pick two, Made this pixels one. Made this pick one. Okay, it's gonna copy the left side over the right side. And then when it gets across the middle, it's gonna copy it back to the left. So I think I have a different looking image. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Did I run Picture Explorer? I guess I did. Okay. See what I got? I went through and copied the left half to the right half 
And when I got to the right half, it copied the right half back to the left, which was the left. So that is vertical mirror. Do you see it? If I only use one picture and make one matrix, I'm just redoing vertical mirror. So if I name this method, mystery method, on next Tuesday or Wednesday's quiz, do you know what it does? Or did you just race through this blindly and not think about things? Okay. I'm not saying you did that. You didn't do that. You won a three or four or five in the AP exam pretty bad, I know. So you didn't do that. But think about things. All right. Thanks for watching the video.